Okay. So here it is, 122 millimeter triplet refractor. Now the idea is that here on the top of the telescope, I'm going to place the mini PC, the power box, the guide scope and everything will be lying over here. This is how fully equipped telescope look like. Hi everyone, my name is George and in this video I'm going to unbox and set up fast photography my new telescope. This is 122 millimeter triplet refractor from SV Boini. I'll start the video by unboxing this telescope, taking a first look at it, checking that all the lenses, the body, everything looks fine. As you may already know, I try to organize cable management on my telescopes. And in the second part of this video, I'm going to share with you uh, the process of putting together all the equipment that I use, like mini PC, power box, and all the additional accessories that I'm going to need to successfully run my imaging sessions. So this is the packaging box that I received earlier this morning. I guess there are two boxes in the packaging. So the first box is the bigger one, of course, that's the telescope itself. And here is also a smaller box. My guess that it is either a uh, focal reducer here or something else. All right, so let's start unboxing this one. First box. Am I still recording? Yeah, I'm still recording. Whew. Okay, so this is the bag the telescope came with and uh, let's open it. <laughs> so, okay, so there are some nice extra pockets for some additional stuff that I might use. Maybe I'm not going to use it then. Okay, some foam material. All right, so there it is. So this is the inside of the bag. The telescope, as you can see, is nicely packed. Everything looks good for now, and let's take it out. Okay. Oh, that's the telescope. The front part is pretty heavy. So here it is, 122 millimeter triplet refractor. So the ET glasses here is made of FPL 51 glass. I really like the attachment rings over here has a lot of holes. There are four holes on each side and five holes here. I really want to look at the lens. Okay, nice aluminum cap. And here it is. And this is a dew shield that is extendable. Oh, it's pretty stiff, which is okay. Okay, so this is the Vixen style dovetail. And I'm going to put the Las Mendes style dovetail, definitely. What I also like about this telescope, it has a built-in rotator. I'm gonna unscrew this knob and this thing should rotate. Yeah, like this. This is nice. So that's the focuser. Yeah, and I really like the way like the flow that uh, the focuser goes in and out. It looks nice. And later on, I'm gonna mount the ZWO electronic focuser here, because I don't wanna focus manually. I'm gonna do it automatically. Let's open this box. So I think I should have the focal reducer and flattener in here. Pretty heavy. Not as heavy as some different reducers or comma correctors. So SV Boini 0.8x reducer flattener. Okay, and uh, in the second part of this video, I'm going to 
set this telescope up for astrophotography. All right, so it's been a few hours since I filmed the unboxing part of this video, and uh, I finally came up with the idea of how I'm going to put all the accessories together on the telescope. First, let's look at the pieces of equipment I'll be using with uh, this telescope. Uh, I have a mini PC from Mili over here. Uh, this is the second version, and I've been using this mini PC to run my imaging sessions for more than a year now. Uh, I have Pegasus Astro Pocket Power Box. This one is pretty old already, and this is the first version of the Power Box from Pegasus. Although I have four USB ports on the mini PC, I still need some extra uh, room to connect different devices. And for that matter, I use a seven USB hub from uh, TP-Link. Of course, I'll be using guiding, and uh, with this scope, I wanna try out um, the mini guide scope from SV Boini SV165. This is a 30 millimeter uh, guide scope with f4 focal ratio, so it has 120 millimeter focal length. Uh, it might be above the limits for this system, but I want to see how it works. And as the imaging camera, I've decided to go with uh, ZWO2600 MC Pro. Although it is a color camera, this one has a filter wheel with the different filters like uh, UV IR cut filter, L Pro filter, SV220 dual narrowband filter, etc. So I also have a monochrome camera. Uh, SV605 MC that has one inch square sensor and I'm also gonna test this telescope out with a monochrome camera but at first I decided to go with a color camera uh, I want to see how the stars look how uh, the colors of the bright stars are gonna appear on the images and just want to make sure that everything's gonna be fine uh, with the with the telescope itself and the setup if it happens to be that you've been following me for Sometime, do you know that I try to organize uh, cable management on my system and uh, uh, here I'm also going to share with you a couple of tips. Now the idea is that here on the top of the telescope I'm going to place the mini PC, the power box, the guide scope and everything will be lying over here. Uh, power box will be mounted on that side, uh, electronic focuser of course here and the camera on the back. In order to put the pieces of equipment on top of the telescope here you need a plate and here is this one might be a good tip for you guys. So these are the steel strips from Lowe's. Each costs five dollars, I think even lesser than five dollars and uh, doesn't weigh a lot. The idea is simple, I'm going to mount um, this steel plate over here, the other one over there. And basically on the top I'm going to put uh, all the pieces of the equipment like I already thought about it and I've already tried it to be honest. Uh, the mini PC, the USB hub will be right over here. The guide scope I'm going to place like this and the Pegasus Astro Pocket Power Box is going to go on that side of the telescope right there. And of course the camera and the electronic focuser I'm going to go on their places. All right, so from now on, I think I'm gonna put this video like on a time-lapse mode. You're gonna see how I put everything together. And at the end, we'll quickly look at the result uh, of setting up this telescope and preparing for astrophotography.
Okay, so this is how everything looks together. I got the mini PC power box, USB hub, guide scope, uh, focuser and a camera with the focal reducer and flattener mounted. Uh, everything is solid and um, the final part I have to finish is put some cords in and uh, the connect the two heater for my guide scope and the main scope. But the two heater for the imaging telescope should arrive uh, the next day so I'm not gonna finish this project fully but at least guys you're gonna have an idea of how this telescope is gonna look like so I'm gonna finish with the cords whatever cords I have at the moment and uh, uh, yep I'm gonna show you the final part All right, so this is how fully equipped telescope look like. Well, it's actually almost fully equipped. As I said earlier, I'm still waiting for the dew heater for the main imaging telescope to arrive. Well, for now, this is how everything looks like. Um, as I said, from the telescope, I'm gonna have this cord that's gonna be connected to the mount. That's the power and the USB for the mount. And the other cord will be plugged in over here, the power cord for Pegasus Astro Pocket Power Box. Uh, I'm not totally happy with this um, cable management here as I have a couple of cords I can make shorter and probably I'm going to order them on Amazon and get delivered in a couple of days. So next video with this telescope will be a first light video. As I said earlier, I'll be shooting with the one-shot color camera, ZWO2600 MC Pro. Later on, of course, I'm going to switch to a monochrome camera and test this telescope out with a monochrome camera. I also have some plans for lunar and maybe planetary imaging. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, but in the meanwhile, if you have any questions about the telescope, about the setup, the way I set everything up, uh, drop me a comment in the comment section down below. If you also want me to test something like specifically, or you want me to cover something in a future video about this telescope also, uh, shoot me a comment in the comment section below. I'm gonna check it out and uh, do my best to help you out, guys. All right, guys, so this is all I got for today. I really hope to see you in the future videos, and until next time.